morning friends so now let's continue with part 2 of chapter 5 what is chapter 5 basically chapter 5 types of duties and we've already studied as of now bcd basic custom duty second is social welfare surcharge third is integrated tax as per section 3 subsection 7 and fourth is GST compensation says as per section 3 subsection 9 of custom tariff act 1975 i hope you with me now i've already taught you this in the previous lecture where i'm where i was where i was very clear where i said that that if the question says that you don't have to levi 37 or if you don't have to levi 39 then only you're not going to levi until LNS question is not saying not levi you will have to levi those ha huh. 3700 person 39 in the cases where they have to write in the question normally they write that 39 is ignored 39 is not there gst compensation says is not there because gst compensation says in india in india within india supply within india is also very less on very few items like luxury items like sin items are you with me so if in india you have 39 so if india you have gst compensation says so on import you'll be having 39 am i very clear till here can i go ahead any problem till here now come to next part of this chapter this next part of the chapter is further explaining us few duties but this duty will be applicable only when it is specifically said this duty is never applicable by default these duties are applicable in specific cases in specific scenario if the scenario happens if government feels that i need to protect my domestic manufacturers then they may start imposing this duty am i clear am i clear so in that is not very important you have section 6 protective duty you have section 6 protective duty power of central government to levy protective duty in certain cases central government has been given the power to levy protective duty in certain cases it's not that important i'm just reading it according to section 6 of custom tariff act 1975 the central government on the recommendation of tariff commission of india levi protective duty for protection of interests of domestic industry they feel they need to protect players of india so they will start imposing protective duty on imported goods i have made myself very clear in first lecture only how to protect your your people is by increasing the price of imported goods and how to do that by imposing duty the more you impose duty on that the more costly it will become and everybody will not buy so it will protect my domestic players in india okay such duty is deemed to have been specified in first schedule as protective the central government has the power to reduce or increase such duty where it deems fit by notification am i very clear am i very clear this is called which duty protective duty can i go ahead next one emergency power to impose or enhance export duty emergency power to impose or enhance export duty central government is empowered to increase or levy export duty where central government satisfied that in respect of any article whether included in second schedule or not any and circumstances exit to take immediate actions what they are trying to say if government feels that oh i need to impose export duty on this export or i need to enhance export duty on this export central government can do that an immediate effect example generally in summer seasons the production of milk becomes low as compared with other seasons if the availability of milk is not if the milk available is not able to meet the requirements of the people the government may increase or levy the duty on exports of milk powder or stop the export of milk powder am i clear am i clear see if milk is not sufficient for my people why will i export milk powder then so either they will start levying export duty or they start or they'll stop exporting milk powder am i clear but again this is again not that important from exam point of view and same way government has been power government has been given the power of emergency power to impose or enhance import duty 
Am I clear till here? So this part what we have learned, this part has three duties basically. Protective duty, then central government power to increase or to levy export duty and third emergency power to impose or enhance import duty. Am I clear? Am I clear till here? Any problem till here? Can I comment? Okay.